All right. Whew. So I have my chicken loaded. There's wings on two shells. There's boneless skinless breasts, boneless skinless thighs, and two briskets. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so it's been uh, a little over an hour. It's just after six o'clock and uh, I'm gonna get the smoker opened up. Whoopsie. I gotta remember, I Grease dessert, the 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 hinges and man oh man this thing is is flying. All right, so let me show you these wings. After an hour, they're looking pretty good. Now you can see how the tips on the wings on this side are darker than the tips on these side on that side these side on that side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the the shelf and I'm gonna move it from the top shelf to the second shelf I'm also going to rotate it when I do that the wings are definitely looking good though they I'll have to check put a probe in the in the wing to check the temperature before I am done <clears throat> all right now hopefully from over there you can see the difference between in color between the wings that were on the bottom shelf versus the wings that are on the top shelf. And this again is one of the reasons why I'm going to rotate them. So for a moment, we're gonna put this up there, this down and rotate it again. You see that wing there that's closest to you, how it is the darkest versus this wing there. Now that's closest to you, which is the lightest. We'll get this spun around. But we are making great progress. The boneless skinless chicken is looking good. It can go for a little while longer. And I already know my briskets, they're, they're, there's nothing, they're not ready to do anything just yet. So I'm going to get the probe, temperature probe back in here on the shelf with the chicken wing on the top, chicken wings on the top. And let me move this one over. Come on, make some room for the probe here. Right, that's in clean air, if you will. And I'll also get the probe over here so that I can check the temperatures in the wings just to make sure that they are okay. I'll check on this again in the, about another hour or uh, when I'll just kind of monitor the temperature. If it starts to get closer to that 175 where I want my wings to be for, for them to finish, I'll get some sauce on them, maybe at about 150, 155 degrees, and then I'll let them finish with the sauce on, and then they'll be done. They should finish before the chicken uh, does, the, the boneless skinless chicken Done. All right, so I am back out at Vicky, and well, let's get the prop here. Uh, 
All right, so I'm back out of Vicky, and I'm ready to sauce the wings. The wings are sitting at about 155, or at least the one that I, I, I poked is at 155 degrees. Now, I'm gonna get a stool. Me doing this on the stool is not 100% necessary. It's just having the higher, event, higher vantage point over the chicken makes it easier for me to sauce and to inspect. All right, so I told you guys in a video before that I poke the chicken to make sure that there's no, like the, the little fat pocket is busted because that will help the wings dry out and help them cook a little better. But these look pretty good. You can see the wing tips are starting to, to brown up. Hopefully you can see that. I can't move the camera right now. But I'm getting ready to get these sauced and turned over so we'll protect the wing tips. Now, this is how I do my chicken wings, how you do your chicken wings. It's how you do your chicken wings. I like to put a little bit of sauce on the wings and then I'm going to get the sauce painted in or on. Now, of course, you can see I'm not drowning the wings in sauce. It's just more or less a glaze is how I use the barbecue sauce. Now, at the same time, I'm going to get the wings, like I said, get them glazed. And then I'll get them flipped over and we will glaze the other side. One of the things that I found when doing chicken wings, you're going to inevitably find feathers. When I clean the chicken wings before I pull them out on the smoker, a lot of times the wings are laying down flat and you can't necessarily see them. I find that the best time to get the wings off or removed is while they're cooking because the feathers have a tendency to kind of stick almost straight up. So this is your opportunity to get those feathers out or off of the wings. Or at least this is a good time to do it. Some of these wings are much hotter than others. And I just have on the nitro glove. These wings are gonna be done soon. I had to get a new, I had to get a new glove. All right, so now at this point, I'm gonna get a little bit of barbecue sauce on the boneless, skinless breast and thighs, just to let the 
barbecue sauce get a little bit of smoke flavor on it and it helps it just changes the flavor a little bit All right, for temperature, I'm gonna put my probe down here on the second shelf. And I'm not really worried as much about the temperature. I just wanna make sure it doesn't get too hot. For the chicken wing, I'm just gonna pick one at the top and get it into the flat, since that's a little easier to get the probe in. And we'll just let this cook. We'll let it get to 175 degrees or so and I'll be checking it from time to time but I'll bring you guys back once they're done all right so I'm back <laughs> and it is uh, swing time I learned my lesson I made sure I had a cotton glove before I mess with the wings again to take them off and I'm also gonna check the chicken while I'm in here but my wings ah keep forgetting about <laughs> the door. It works so much better now that it's uh, lubricated. It really, <laughs> I won't say has never done that. Oh, shoot. But it hasn't opened as well in a very long time. All right, turn off my probe. These wings are done. Oh yeah. I see these. And the, the rain is coming down harder. I hope I can get all these wings in this container. I should be able to. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that is 25 wings. Whoa, shoot. Oh, man. Can we, can we play taps for our fallen wing here? This is why I don't cook exactly the amount of wings that I need. I have not dropped a wing in quite some time. But today, It happens every now and again. You drop something. But can we just, can we just look at these? Can, can y'all just look at this? Wow. Mm -hmm. 
a little later. All right, time back out at the smoker. And I didn't forget that time. Let's get the, <laughs> the door prop. All right, so my chicken is a little overdone. I got a little distracted and the temperature went a little further than I would have liked it to go, but not by far. But the chicken is done and we are gonna get it pulled and it doesn't matter how it goes in here and it's still very, very tender. Like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Adding moisture to your smoker really helps keep things from getting dried out. You see all the, everything coming off of there? Whew. Now the best time to mash this up to, to get the pull started is right as it comes off of the smoker. So you can see just squeezing and mashing. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe I, hopefully I was in frame. Same thing, I'm gonna get the breasts off, get them into the pan. All right, brisket's still looking good. We're just gonna let it ride for a little bit longer. All right, this is a pro level move. Come on, door. Move it up in the smoker, move the briskets up in the smoker just so they can get a little bit more heat and get a little further along in the cook. Later. All right, so I've gone ahead and taken the briskets out of the smoker. The chicken thighs, the chicken breasts, you saw me get those out. The chicken wings, you saw me get those out. All right, so last step, I'm gonna put some Pam down in here on the bottom. Oh. Just to help it keep from rusting. Yeah, those shelves were all pretty greased. That one shelf, this was, uh, I don't know why that one was as rusty as it was, but it rusted up a bit. So we just got it sprayed down, but it's uh, super clean in there. All right, guys, so thank you so very much, as always, for watching. Uh, roll the outro. Whoops. Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs> hey, look, guys, down below is listed the P.O. Box. If you want to send us something to try, a sauce, a seasoning, some jerky, feel free, something funny, something for us to try. Yeah. Send it to the P.O. Box below. It's always listed in the description. But Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join us on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We go live for two hours. In the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please. And bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right. Well, not her, but me. So. Sometimes you know. I peek. peek in. Yes, you do. So you want to tell them thank thank them again for watching. Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you Bye. guys.